everybody, welcome to episode 23 of Staying Connected. 23 of these videos, wow, that's a lot. Um, I really appreciate anybody still watching. I hope this brings some people some joy and makes you not feel quite so alone like we do every. It's um, Monday, beginning of another week, which for some people is um, exciting. Some people it's like, really, it's Monday? I don't know what day of the week it is. Um, for others, it's like, oh no, it's Monday, my kids have more school assignments. Um, but we're here for you. We are. And, um, I, uh, <laughs> um, I had a good weekend. I had a nice time with my family. I do, uh, need to take a little self-indulgence right now because the, uh, very precious little girl that I, um, am a nanny for when I usually am working, who I love so very, very much, my beautiful little Ariana, she turned to two yesterday and I didn't get to celebrate it with her. Now I will probably celebrate it with her after everything's over, just because I love to celebrate and stuff, but um, she's no longer a baby. She's now like, she's a big girl and I get videos and stuff, but I uh, really quick just wanted to, you know, say, Hi, Ariana. Kitty loves you, and I miss you, and happy, 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 happy birthday, my big two-year-old girl. Um, yeah, she's a, she's two. Um, <laughs> but this actually got me to start thinking about celebrations because I've been seeing on Facebook, and you know, sort of talking to other people. You know, birthdays and, and, and holidays are all being treated very different because we don't get to celebrate together. And that's really intriguing for me because for me, Ariana's birthday, um, that's like the fourth birthday celebration that I've had in the last two weeks that I kind of sort of missed. I mean, we did do something for my mom that really wasn't much different than what we usually do, but you know... My cousin, I had talked to her a while ago about going and visiting and doing something for her birthday. And it's just very interesting how celebrations happen during this shelter in place order. And I know that a lot of people are like, well, we did a Zoom meeting or we did this or we did that or we tried to still make it special because it's important for us to celebrate so much. And that's kind of what I want to encourage you guys today. I just want to encourage you guys to continue celebrating every day. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It doesn't have to be, a, you know, it can just be this morning I got up and I am happy to be here. Because that's what's going to get us through this. We're going to keep celebrating everything that happens. Big moments in life, little moments in life. We just need to celebrate it. And as part of that celebrating... We need to always remember to bring praise into every day. And I feel like that really holds true in our heart. So, did a little Google searching and I looked in my Bible and I found um, something really intriguing to share with you guys. Um, I mean, it might just be intriguing to me, but <laughs> there is a book of Psalms that I would like to read to you guys because... It really shows the way we should be celebrating and praising and just if we take this mindset and just realize the joy that we can have. It's Psalms 50. It's actually the last book of Psalms. If you read it, it's praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty heavens, mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power, praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of trumpet, trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourines and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. But that's not it. That sounds like a big celebration. You know, we have a festival and we dance around. But the point of that is to praise him every day. And so I would like to encourage all of you guys to remember as you're going through difficult times, to just take a moment and praise God. Sometimes that's difficult, and I get that. Sometimes you just need to put on that loud song, blast it throughout your house because who really cares, and dance around till you bring that joy back in your heart. Sometimes you need to fall to your knees and pray to God 
to bring it to you. But I just encourage everybody to praise in everyday situations and celebrate. Celebrate even the little things we do every day because, you know, we've got to keep that joy, that happiness, that spark alive. So today's daily challenge for all of my kiddos out there that might be watching or whose parents are like, oh, don't give us another one because we don't really do them and then we feel bad. That's okay. This one is fun, I think. I would like to encourage you guys to come up with creative musical instruments you can make out of things you have lying around your house. Like you can make rattles using toilet paper rolls, not the toilet paper, but the rolls. You can put plastic in either end and go shake, 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 shake. Or paper plates that, and it's paper plates and, oh, rubber bands. That's what those are called. You can use to make guitars that go boink, boink, boink. I mean, they're not going to be super in tune, but they're going to be fun to make. And I want to see all of your creative ideas. So that's my daily challenge. Find unusual items throughout your house to make a musical instrument with. Ah! Um, yeah, so let's close in prayer. Um, I hope you guys all have a happy Monday. Dear Heavenly Father, oh, we praise you. We praise your glory and your power and your all amazing awesomeness. And we just ask that you be with us throughout today and every day and just hold your joy and hope into our heart as we get through this. In your name, amen.